Um, so we um, sell quite a lot of our, um, the parts for the rockers um, on camion and single knocker uh, rocker arms uh, and uh, there's pretty much three parts to this, I'm not sure how well you can see here but there's pretty much three parts to, to the rocker arm as far as consumables are concerned. We've got a three piece adjuster which uh, is quite a clever little design that al allows that the, the uh, valve uh, uh, clearance to be set. Um, that's not fitted on this rocker arm. Uh, we sell the hardened rocker pads um, just here and actually this one is a customer's rocker arm sent, sent to me and I uh, wouldn't normally fit them. Uh, he sent it for rocker bearings to be fitted but he asked if I could fit those as well which I have. Um, uh, those are very much a consumable. Uh, the design of Norton's with that steep lift they do tend, you strip an engine down and you often find that they're heavily worn. And then the, the final piece on here you can see is the, the rocker bearing. Uh, and the design on these arms, um, this, this main boss, there were two or three different designs over the years. Um, the very first design in the early 30s was a different diameter, a slightly smaller diameter. Um, and I have got one cam box, probably about 1932-ish, which has got that earlier design. I'm not sure, I have an idea that the very first design, 1930-31, was slightly different again. Uh, I've got to admit, I can't remember. I think I have seen one once, but I can't remember if they're slightly different again. But I think it was about 34-ish, 33-34, they standardised on this design. What did change is, um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, I'll see if I can come up close. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to focus in on this. I'll try and just get it to focus in on, on that, uh, on the rocker arm. Uh, you can see on the rocker arm here um, that... Uh, there's like a lip on the outer part of a rocker arm. Um, that, that lip I think was standardised, I'm not sure quite when, but about 36, 37 I think, something like that. But earlier ones didn't have the lip, uh, and the lip was designed so a hard cup could go over with the cork washers on either side. It was a bit of an unusual design, but obviously one half of the arm sits outside of the cam box shell and the other half sits within. And to keep the oil in, effectively you've got a rubber pad sitting on the top, you've got a rubber pad sitting underneath the bottom and you've got two cork pads sat on either side. Um, and I think they, the very first design, the design uh, 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 of this size boss, um, didn't have this lip, it just had flat sides and a shim, a hard shim, was held on either side. And I think they probably realised that that allowed oil to escape more than this design where they machined a lip and they fit like a cupped washer over it and then the cork washer. Uh, we sell both types. Uh, I, I've got a couple of sets of rockers which have got the early design but most ones I see are like this for cupped type. Um, okay, so I've moved to camera. Uh, an added bonus, you don't get to see me anymore. Um, uh, um, but uh, and you also get to see the clutter, which is my uh, surface plate, which I keep uh, as you always do in your, in your little small living room, keep a surface plate in there. And I've got all the clutter of gearbox parts I'm doing at the moment, dowels and pins that I use for adjusting and some measuring equipment uh, uh, as I'm doing gearbox at the moment. Um, but just to show you these rocker arms before I, I take them out to the workshop. Um, I'm not sure how well you saw when I was holding it, but if I carefully... I do have to be careful here, otherwise I'll end up with rollers all over the place. Okay. <laughs> Failure. Complete, uh, 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 complete breakdown of rollers, but it just... Oh, I won't bother trying to put them all back in now. You can see there are 
lots of little rollers here. Let's see if I can close up on it. So you can see lots of little rollers, phosphor bronze cage, and actually, although these look like a standard size, they're not. The ones that we make, uh, that, that we offer these days, are now made using metric rollers. Unfortunately, this weird size of roller that was originally fitted uh, to Norton Inters, as far as I can figure, is totally unavailable. I've been to numerous bearing people and cannot get them. So, we do have some of the original fossil bronze cages. If, if for whatever reason you've got original bearings you want to reuse and you just want new cages. But frankly the sets we offer now, we have to offer them where they've been um, all machined as a complete set but to take metric rollers. Uh, still do exactly the same thing. There's only a couple of fowl in it but, uh, but um, uh, 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 I know that those rollers are metric. There's the pin. Um, see rollers flying everywhere but as you can see spins very freely. What you do find is in this particular case, there's only one set of rollers here. If you have a set having having deposited themselves over the surface plate, put that back on. Just to show you these rocker arms before I, I take them out to the workshop. Um, I'm not sure how well you saw when I was holding it, but if I carefully... I do have to be careful here, otherwise I'll end up with rollers all over the place. Okay, <laughs> failure. Complete. A, a, a complete breakdown of rollers, but it just go. Oh, I won't bother trying to put them all back in now. You can see there are lots of little rollers here. Let's see if I can close up on it. So you can see lots of little rollers, phosphor bronze cage. And actually, although these look like a standard size, they're not. The ones that we make, uh, that, that we offer these days, are now made using metric rollers. Unfortunately, this weird size of roller that was originally fitted uh, to Norton Inters as far as I can figure, is totally unavailable. I've been to numerous bearing people and cannot get them. So, we do have some of the original fossil bronze cages. If, if for whatever reason you've got original bearings you want to reuse and you just want new cages. But frankly the sets we offer now, we have to offer them where they've been... Um, all machined as a complete set but to take metric rollers. Uh, still do exactly the same thing. There's only a couple of fowl in it but, uh, but um, uh, 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 I know that those rollers are metric. There's the pin. Right, that was doing me head in. I was watching rollers flying everywhere so uh, I stopped the camera a minute and uh, 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 assembled them all together now as a uh, back in back in the cage. So you can see there uh, how well the camera's picking it up. You can see there is a complete assembly. There's a washer underneath. Stop the rollers coming out. Carefully.
Oh, uh, I'm waiting for rollers to come flying. Okay, so assemble dry there, and you can see it spins quite freely. This one here, you can see hers. Use this one. This one's. So you can see that one. Um, has not got the inner race yet, uh, uh, the, the assembly put in, but it has had a new outer race pressed in. Okay, so here you see, um, this is uh, a Delapina uh, Auto Speed Home, um, great piece of equipment, uh, 1960s start, uh, uh, kind of make, but um, was a very good, good quality honing machine. And as you can see, it's got a honing tool in here with stones on it, sure how well you can see and I'm aware the battery better. There you can see rocker arm, honing tool, set all the feeds correctly, there's oil running and I'll show you basically I run it and I as I run faster Revs it will apply more pressure. Um, so uh, I'll come a little bit closer. I think uh, so. You can see here this is the last of the rocker arms to be done, and at the moment it will just go into the green hole. Now I know I've got that set so that's actually too loose and the size it needs to be is this. <laughs> uh, if you hear a bumblebee, uh, there's a bumblebee that, that lives in this uh, uh, little workshop, one of my shed workshops and there's a big bumblebee and I've taken it out and he keeps coming back. So if you hear a buzzing or see something flying around it's the big bumblebee pissed off because uh, his home's being used. So, mount it, hold it the hand. I've got a foot pedal, which you probably can't see. And you'll see, oh, it's simple. What I'm doing is applying foot pressure. So I'm getting a pressure that I can feel in my hands where I know it's acting on my hand. see um, typical honing marks, like crisscross marks. I don't tend to get that on these rocker bearings, they don't need that much removing. Um, but I am still following that kind of in and out, in and out, which obviously if I was to keep going for long enough, would result in those crisscross marks. And basically what I'm looking for, I'll keep doing this, um, and it's dependent on what the tolerances were on the original arm, but it doesn't take too long on these arms, and I'll then test on, on the gauge. What I will do is I'll turn it around just to make sure I'm getting 
the right holds it parallel and make sure I'm getting an even amount on both sides. Come back, um, I've got holding all over my hands, trying not to get it on too much on the remote control. Uh, now, just carrying on going for a short period, and I'll see if I can put it in the camera where you can see this clearly. Now, I've got a lovely slide fit on. To that. So not only is it fitting onto that one, which is a final difference, it's now also a lovely slide fit onto that one. So, hopefully you can see that now. I've got my master um, rocker set here. So this is one I use for checking arms. Both of these now, uh, these are off a of Model 30. Uh, the other set were off a uh, 350, Model 40, but they're the same arms. Um, both of these have now been done. And I'll try to show this. Now obviously there's hardened washers which I'll put in afterwards so what I'm looking for, I don't know if you can see here, so it's trying to do this, but you can pretty much see there that that is pretty much moving under its own weight. And that's what you're aiming for. So as I move, so does the arm move. Uh, uh, that's always nice to see, nice and free running. So that'll be stripped down now, cleaned of the honing oil, um, uh, and assembled in this case for customer wants uh, mineral oil, but I'll, I can do it in castor oil or even synthetic, uh, synthetic oil. Uh, assemble with clean oil, put the washes on and then finally just lock the washes in place and that's just a punch mark on the outer mark. You can see this one has got the original marks from the last time they rocker bearings put in. That's all that's needed just to keep those washes in place. Alright, thanks for watching. Speak to you later. Um, having just finished owning four um, rocker arms and fitting the new rocker assemblies and the side hardened side washers and just punching them back in again, carefully assembling them and just making sure any burrs removed off everything. You can see this is a finished result now having done the honing. You can see this arm is lovely and free running. Uh, no side play, but very three, where normally if you press a new bearing you won't get it quite that three. So it is definitely worth doing that honing process. So these are four all built up, just lock wide just to keep everything all together.